en Mesainar de la Torre. I am Hamex de la Torre. We come from uh, just south of the border from uh, in San Diego, in a small city called Ensenada. And San Diego as well. We, we live on both sides of the border. We're originally from central Mexico, but we emigrated to the United States when we were relatively young. And that I think that the migratory experience uh, informs our work even now. now. Now we're sitting right on the border, sort of straddling it, crossing it maybe once a week, um, bringing uh, certain things from the United States into Mexico. And we have a mixed media studio where we put a do do assemblage of our work. And uh, once finished, we bring it back to the United States for uh, to, to see where it will end up. I visited last October to do a site visit and talk to the other. Uh, the fellow artists and curators, sort of how we're going to uh, go about doing this. It's, it's a very complicated project to bring in. I, I think we we're, were, uh, I was then, and I think my brother would agree, it's, uh, it's a, one of the best schools we've ever been to, if not the best. It really is uh, very, very, very uh, well, well endowed with, with, with equipment. Mm -hmm. The curator, Jeroen Maas, invited us to be part of this. He wanted to have three solo, he called it three solo exhibits, I think, in order to have the three very individual areas or the individual, not so much the, the, the definition of the areas, but uh, solo shows that with a separate feel. Um, there was, he wasn't trying to obviously have us get along and sort of do something together. Uh, and I think that in this space that we started out, we, there was a very demanding building architecturally and we, we were perfect for certain parts of it. And, um, Richard was taken, took to the gallery and um, had there sort of started working in a very architectural way, just like he's using here. And for us, we sort of dabble in, in both both worlds, um, and uh, it was very. It's it's a it's not an easy show to bring anywhere, I think. But we had good support, and we're, we're happy with the results. Uh, this afternoon, we were making a piece uh, in our style, which is very additive. We add all the glass parts to it, uh, often mostly in the bright colors, very much derived from uh, Mexican folk art translated into glass mold. Yeah, our interest I think is mainly expressionistic when it comes to glass. We're really interested in using it as a medium for expression. So we, um, we come, I guess we've uh, come somewhat from the school of expressionism when it comes to that. Uh, we're going to be using some parts that we made in the water jet available here at the university. I think we're going to heat those up and apply them to the, to the sculpture we'll be making.